What's up, guys? <clears throat> so me and my wife, we just uh, got away from the house for the weekend. And, you know, we, we didn't go far. We're just in Buckhead. Uh, just really enjoying ourselves, you know, enjoying our marriage, you know, enjoying each other. Um, because that's that that's the uh, uh, some the things that are needed, you know, for a healthy marriage. But you know, um, you know, having a lot of colleagues and business, seeing a lot of people on Facebook, I uh, continue to hear people um, just have a, a low frequency mindset. Um, people are always talking about you know uh, things about people not spending money, the economy, the recession. There's no money out here. No one wants to spend money. Blah 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 blah. And that's basically where it will, basically what it uh, all based boils down to. Just a bunch of crap. Because the reason why I say this, man, you know, again, we're down here in Buckhead. You know, we went shopping earlier, um, guys. Everything is still moving. I'm seeing people out here shopping. I'm people are driving around. Uh, people are doing everything, you know, uh, life activities. Um, and you know, you have to understand in life, there's two sides to everything. Okay, it's just not always about your side. And what I realized, because I used to have this same mindset, is what I call a poor man mindset. Well, poor man mindset makes excuses for every single thing. Okay, and what I've learned in my life how to beat this mindset this poor man mindset is guys you have to be willing to adjust okay you have to be willing to adjust to the better things the better opportunities okay the the the, the, the final things in life you know um, whatever is the opposite that you say that's not out here it is out here okay no matter if you believe it or not it is out here okay i'm just gonna flip my camera around okay so look i mean again beautiful day by the way but look people are still driving people are still maneuvering okay like i said we went shopping earlier well gas prices people say oh gas prices so high well if gas prices were that high why are people still driving every day buying gas every day so is it really high or is it really just our minds okay that 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 are basically tricking us because when you have a, a poor man mindset saying these things believing these things will trick you and it will make you think this is what the poor man mindset does guys it it, it, it makes you think that there's not enough okay it, it's not enough gas it's not enough food it's not enough money it's not enough of nothing it's just a, a, a limited supply and that is unfortunately a lot okay there is more than enough if you believe it so that's my thing guys is that um how you doing can i have a drink menu yeah no <laughs> um but you but you have to um be willing to understand that there is a whole nother side of this world okay there's a whole nother side of your thought process because you have to remember you can't think negative and positive at the same time it's impossible so if you're thinking negative everything is negative negative in your life everything that your excuses are negative okay how you view the world is negative how you view yourself is negative but when you learn how to adjust hold on guys i'm gonna place me a drink thank you so much if you want to come back in about four minutes thank you yeah i take an ice water too if, if 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 you want to adjust to a different side of this world you have to be willing to change your mindset i am proof in the pudding if you change your mindset you would change your entire world and that's what thing i'm telling my wife you know we went out today guys and you know we spent some money we enjoyed ourselves because that's what we work for right we want to enjoy things in life you know like i told my life my, my wife today um my life <laughs> my wife um even if we don't want it, it just feels good to be in the position to get it if you want it, okay? And guys, that's what that's the, the, the mindset of having abundance, okay? Of, of, of understanding there's more than enough. You know, when it comes down to most people's problem in this world, it's money. But money is man-made. How can you how can you have the mindset of believing something that is man-made, okay? Uh, digits are man-made okay uh, uh paper paper money is man-made so how can you be, how can you even believe that there's not enough if it's man-made okay we're not talking about you know uh, uh water you know things or you know gold 
Okay, man can't make gold. Okay, um, you know that's why you you know if you if you see gold, it can go up, it can go down depending on you know uh, how people buy it. But money is man-made. Okay, credit cards, all this stuff is man-made. Credit. Okay, uh, thank you so much. <clears throat> your credit score, all this stuff is man-made. So how can you allow your mind to to believe that these things are limited? that these things can hold you back. And they can't. They only will if you believe it will. So I'm just here to say, guys, man, we gotta start opening up our minds to a whole nother style of life. I did it, okay? Once you do that, once you can tap into it and you can start adjusting to another part of this world, another part of your brain, okay? The positive side of your brain, you will open up opportunities you will meet different people. You will hear people speak differently, different languages. You, you, your, your finances will change. Your opportunities will change. Things will start to change if you're willing to adjust, okay? And that's what we have to be willing to do, man. We gotta be willing to adjust to another side, okay, of our minds, okay, in the world. All right, guys, see you in the next one.